All right, it's been a while since I've done any videos on Cubase or made any videos for the channel, to be honest. Like, I've had a lot of work on over the last month and it's been a bit full on. I'm a bit drained, actually, from it all, a bit burnt out. So I'm going on holiday at the end of the week. But while I've been working away in the background, doing stuff for other people, uh, doing things for my own products, I've also been learning how to do coding um, and building tools to work inside of Cubase. And I've been developing quite a few different tools to do different things. And um, the idea behind any of the tools that I'm building is to try and make your lives much easier when it comes to working in your DAW. So these first two I'm going to show you are going to, first of all, tell you how many instrument patches um, you need to create for a library if you're going to build a template for a specific library. And it's also going to automatically name all of the tracks for you. So you, you don't even have to think about how you're going to name things. It's just going to do it for you. So let me show you I'm working in action. So this first one is called Get Names. I'll give it a better name than that because, uh, well, I haven't really given it too much thought. But essentially, you just pick the sample library you want to um, get the names for. So Aeon Melodic in this case, click OK. And it's going to tell me how many instruments, patches there are. So if I do want to create 316 instrument tracks or um, MIDI tracks, then, you know, there we go. I know exactly how many I need to make. Now, the next tool is called Paste Names. Pretty obvious what this one's going to do. I need to move the folder just off to the side of the window here, otherwise I'm not going to be able to load it. And so I'm going to go to the first MIDI track here that I've got created and then run this Paste Names um, exe. And you can see that it's automatically naming all of the tracks for you which is pretty cool. And it's also putting them in alphabetical order as well, which is even better. Look at that. It's just chugging away. Now, these are in sort of alpha stages. Uh, there's, you know, I'm a complete novice when it comes to all this code and stuff. And uh, there's a lot of different things I need to think about, learn about, um, before I can even get these to a point where I feel confident enough that they can be released. But I just thought I'd, I just thought I'd show you, you know, to show you them in action because um, I think they're going to be really useful unless someone copies my idea and releases it before me, which is probably what's going to happen anyway, let's face it. <laughs> For now, I'm going to be going on holiday, as I say, at the end of the week, recharge my batteries and... Um, then I'm going to start doing some more Cubase videos for you. If there's anything you guys in particular want me to do videos on or show you, teach you, or video old, old crappy videos that I'm, I've made that need to be updated and redone because I do, you know, I, I know there's a lot of old videos where they're not particularly the best um, because, you know, it's not like I'm an expert at everything. Everyone starts somewhere, right? So um, just let me know. And we'll go from there. But I hope you're all doing well. And if you're going to be celebrating Halloween, I hope you have a really nice Halloween. And I'll see you in November.